Beanox are actually making us put some work into thinking who could be in this next Grand Prix. Oh why Beanox, why I'm thick, I can't think for myself. Well, I probably can. Today we are going to talk about what characters should be added or could be added in the January Grand Prix. To come up with this list, what I've done is I've just looked over your comments for plenty of videos in the past, you know, these things do stay in my head sometimes, and also use my own judgement to decide 5 characters that would be good for this Grand Prix. But at the end of the video, I'll give you information on how you can tell me just what you want to see and also sort of vote on the things I have suggested. It should be noted at this point that we're expecting the Grand Prix to be called Rustland and to be apocalypse themed, so we'll be looking at things which fit that. If you want to see more videos like this every single Wednesday, do feel free to hit the like button which helps us out so much and subscribe to the channel as well and yeah, feel free to follow us on Twitter as well, I will leave a link down in the description. Don't know why I said it like that. So the first name on this list is Megamix. Yes, we have really pushed the boat out for this one. Now, if you don't know who Megamix is, then it's a screwed up merger of Cortex, Engine, Tiny Tiger, and Dingo Dial. Pretty much the kind of weird creation that is perfect for this type of Grand Prix. Now, I just have a feeling, I don't know why, that this character could be in the next Grand Prix. Yes, by a gut feeling, I mean that Beta M data mined it, so Beta M tends to be right. So we're pretty sure we're going to be getting this character in the next Grand Prix. My thoughts on this character are pretty positive. I think a Mega Mix suits an apocalyptic themed Grand Prix brilliantly. I mean, just think of its origins or his origins. Um, I can't wait to see what they do character design wise, because they do tend to get things right. But Rillaroo, yeah. Overall, I'm looking forward to Megamix joining CTR, and pretty much Megamix is the only character right now that we can be almost sure will be in this next Grand Prix. If you want your Apocalypse Land to include lots of weird things like Megamix, you're probably going to need lab assistants to help you, to hold people down and make stupid experiments, I, I don't know. People have been calling for the inclusion of one of these little weirdos for quite a while now, and now that pretty much all of the big characters are gone, their inclusion is certainly more possible than ever. If you think about it, if there is a man-made apocalypse in real life one day, I imagine that somewhere, some lab assistants will be involved, so this seems like a good fit. Does anybody know a set of twins that could possibly bring around an apocalypse? The type of twins that are evil, that are nasty, and that are powerful, and that are Parrots? What do you mean the parrots? Yes, Victor and Morris, the evil twins. By the way, Victor and Morris are not really that intimidating names. I just think of old people playing golf. They are the kind of characters that would love to bring an apocalypse to our universe. To be fair, they don't really look like parrots either. I don't, they just look weird alien parrot thingies. But yeah, they like the 10th dimension, they are absolutely evil, and they would love an apocalypse. So I think that they would fit this Grand Prix really well. I wanted to see these in the game for a little while now. One of the big questions I've had for a few months is, would they have their own car or would they share one? Now that sounds really boring, but to me it's actually a really interesting question. Overall, I think out of every character on this list, I would like to see these in the game more than anybody else. Willy Wumper Cheeks is bottom line mental. His head is an apocalypse in itself, which makes him perfect for this Grand Prix. Now, although I do feel like this one especially is very unlikely, I would really like to see him in the game at some point. Now, I know people are sort of divided and he's quite annoying, but I think if an apocalypse was to happen, we'd all be a bit more crazy like him, so maybe we could just, we can use him as what will happen if all this goes wrong. I don't know, I, I just like to see him in the game and hopefully one day, whether it's in this Grand Prix or another one, we will actually get to race as him. I am convinced that Evil Crash belongs in something like a Fallout game rather than Crash Twin Sanity. He's like one of those weird mutant radioactive thingies you come across in the wasteland that just eats stuff and is horrible, which actually makes him perfect for this Grand Prix. <laughs> 
Evil Crash is, well, as his name suggests, very, very evil, and with his habit of eating literally anyone or anything, he does fit the apocalypse theme very well. Um, overall, I think this is a character that would be popular with fans, and I'd quite like to see him in the game at some point as well, so hopefully this one comes true. My only reservation with this character being included in this Grand Prix, and this counts for the Evil Twins too, which coincidentally, Fake Crash decided to make a meal of, is that, could these characters instead be saved for a Twin Sanity specific Grand Prix? I don't know, I think if they were to put the Evil Twins and Evil Crash in something like this one, we'd not need a Twin Sanity one, so I kind of, you know, I can't really decide exactly how I'd like to see it. In this video, I tried to cover characters that I think suit the expected theme of an apocalyptic Grand Prix. And I'll also leave all of the characters talked about today on a poll over on the community poll section of the channel where you can vote for who you'd like to see most out of those. Also, let me know down in the comment section of either this video or the poll who you actually want to see that maybe I've not mentioned in this video. If you have enjoyed today, remember to hit that like button on this video and also subscribe to the channel for Crash and Spyro content every Wednesday and often more regular than that. Also, go over and follow us on Twitter. I'll leave a link down in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video soon.